Greetings, everyone. Draco Magnius, your host of horrors, here for the first of our October month of madness and horror let's play of the 2018 season. You've decided that we will be playing The Last Door, Collector's Edition. You'll notice I have a continue there. I just had to test the game out. I'm going to obviously start new. I didn't go far. I just wanted to test, make sure everything was working. So we're going to start here with episode one, The Letter. Yes, I'm. F it's fine. After all the things I have seen. After all the things I have done. I cannot escape the course my life has taken. Now, I am beyond redemption. I just hope you can forgive me someday. Yours sincerely, Anthony Beechworth. Boy, aren't we starting off cheery. It would be rude to skip. So I'm going to clam up. October, 1891. I probably mispronounced that. No idea what language it is. French, I want to say? That was all my childhood friend, Anthony Beechworth, had written in his letter. It had been many years since I had heard that sentence. It was the motto of the science and philosophy group that we had secretly run as students, back when we were in that secluded boarding school in Scotland. But we all let it, left it all behind, like mere childhood memories. That letter was unusual. It could only mean something awful must have happened. Something that must remain absolutely secret. I had to find out what was going on. Without delay, I took the first morning train to Sussex and made my way to the address on the letter, in a snazzy top hat. And there it was, the old house of Anthony's family, the Beechworth Manor. Eh, looks nice. Episode 1, The Letter So yeah, this is a point-and-click adventure, obviously. Let's see what's going around behind the house. A murder of crows is eating... I almost said eagerly eating. <laughs> a murder of crows is eating eagerly. There are so many birds, I cannot see their prey from here. Hey, crows! Those crows are too vicious. Getting close could be dangerous. Fair. All right, let's go back and knock on the door, I guess. Oh, d didn't even knock, just sort of let myself in. Okay. I mean, you know, he might not be here, but maybe his servants are? This is strange. Everything is silent. As if there was no one living here. I'm worried about Anthony. I have to find him. 
All right. Uh, upstairs. A grandfather clock. It's the only sound around here. All right. Is this Anthony? The years have not been kind to him. My coat. Wait, what was... A note on the table. Dear Mr. Beechworth, Due to the recent events, the situation has become unbearable for us, and much to our regret, we have no other choice but to leave. We will remain forever grateful for all these years in your service. God bless you, Mr. and Mrs. Brewer. Okay, so they left. Probably servants, I guess. Let's check out the first floor before we go running upstairs, you know? Hmm. A cabinet with glasses and some liquor bottles. There's also a matchbox. Well, let's take the matchbox. These matches could come in useful. Really, that's a weird way to say that. Maybe that's a British thing. A machine that plays record recorded music. I did not know that Anthony was such an enthusiast of new inventions. Well, I mean, he's your friend. Wouldn't you know him? That large window is wide open, letting the cold dusk air in. So how about we go over and close it? No, we're just gonna leave it open? Alright, sure. Maybe he's into that. I don't know. A seascape. There's a small boat struggling against the roaring waves. What's over here? Oh, the kitchen. A plate with some days old leftovers. Well, they're probably bad by now if they're like that. Something else? No, just day old leftovers. Plates and pans. Alright. Variety of herbs and ingredients. Okay. And is this out to the crows? I have unlatched the door. That'd be a big ol' yes. Alright, you crows enjoy your meal. I won't keep you. I'm keeping all these doors open. It's like I was raising a barn or something. A rainy mountain landscape. This portrait is crooked. So fix it. There we go. Still looks kind of crooked. It oh. That actually startled me a little bit. We haven't even gotten to the scary stuff. Oh, a painting fell? God! An old rosary. A cord of beads with a solid wooden crucifix. Alright, cool. I now have a rosary. This painting depicts a deep, dark forest. Look, I wasn't expecting it to fall. Huh. A wash bin and some toiletries. Alright. A lamp to light the way. I could use a lamp. Cool. Nice, I now have a lit lantern. There's nothing of interest in these drawers. March 5th, 1891. Master Anthony has made us get rid of our religious objects. What's going on with him? Luckily, I found a place to hide my rosary. I cannot pray every night without it. Master Anthony has been complaining about Alfie. What would a simple cat do to him? He ordered us to keep him out of the house at all times. Still, I cannot let that poor thing starve. He's such a clever cat. Every time I open the window, he knows food is waiting for him. Anyway, I'm worried about Master Anthony. He's growing more and more unlike himself each day. Every day, but oh well. September 15th, 1891. Master Anthony's spending whole days locked inside his office. He wants us to leave him food at the door, but he barely eats anything. I'm really worried. Huh. Okay, so he was deteriorating insanity, it seems. An empty bowl, like the ones used to feed pets. Alright, well, if I want to feed a cat, I can do that, I guess. The window is dirty, that I can barely see through the outside. Through to the outside, rather. Nope, the window's open. Or not. Looks like the window frame is rotten. I would need some kind of cord to hold the window up. Okay. I mean, I have a rosary. Would that do? I mean, it's kind of sacrilegious, but eh. Ha-ha! 
The cold wind of the evening is a relief to the suffocating atmosphere. Well, I did that. I mean, at best I'm going to summon a cat. A small plant brings some life to this place. Alright, what's over this way? What's that on the floor? It's like some sort of black mess. Maybe I'm imagining things. This door is locked. I should try and find the key to open it. That's fair. Alright, I guess now we go upstairs. I mean, maybe there's a basement. I don't know. Alright. I suppose I could, I don't know, fish through the kitchen or something. Ah, good. Nice and dark. Who needs to see? Locked. The door's stuck. It won't open. Okay. Can I light that? No? Okay. Hello? Anybody home? Probably shouldn't be yelling to the heavens. Wait, where did my matches go? I just lit the lamp and... Hmm. The story's been boarded up. Alright, I'll need a crowbar. Nothing I can do about that right now. Is this door locked or stuck? Oh, it isn't. Oh, it's nice and bright here. A silver key. Shit, take it. It's a key, my dude. Always take keys. A double bed. From the accumulated dust, I would guess it has, has not been slept in for a very long time. The fireplace is black with soot. Okay. This window leads to a balcony shared with the adjacent room. Cool. I guess there's nothing else to look at. A gentleman with a serious and inquisitive look. Okay, what's over yonder way? It's locked from the inside. Whoops, I accidentally hit the uh, program. Okay, well, let's get the hell out of here then. Out of this creepy ass hallway. But I hope it's not echoing. The music is kind of loud. I might have to adjust this. That's something I'll have to look into. Where was that locked door again? Alright, let's, uh, I think it was this way. I meant to click the key. Pretty sure that's what that said. Ah, good. Basement. I think this is a slate disc record. The sleeve reads, The Carnival of Venice. Okay. Oh wait, that's just the way back up. Well, I mean, let's keep exploring after I grab the Carnival of Venice, I guess. Ooh, what's that? A slightly rusted iron crowbar. Nice. I take. A small pile of firewood twigs and chunks of dry bark. Oh. Am I not allowed to do anything with that? I mean, I could take that and light the fireplace upstairs, but I guess we don't want to warm the house. I mean, I have a bunch of windows open. That's fair. The boiler looks like it's been out of use for a long time. All right, can't open it. What's this mess? Weird. Oh, well, let's, uh... The record player was upstairs, I believe? If I'm remembering correctly, I could be misremembering. Let's get the hell out of here. No one likes being in the basement. Or am I wrong? No, I was right. Actually, no, it's in the living room, isn't it? I'm pretty sure that's where the record player was. Aha! I think a recorded recording of sound or music can be played if an engraved cylinder or disc is inserted, but I see no such object in this device. Lucky for us, I found that. My, how pleasant!
I feel like this would sound a little better if it wasn't kind of distorted. It must be broken. I do not know how to make it stop! No, that would destroy the gramophone! It must be very expensive! The music is abruptly stopped. Oh, thank God. I'm starting to get on my last nerves. Hey! So, you guys finished your meal, I guess? How's it hanging? Oh, don't mind me. I'm just sort of looking around. Well? Uh... Do you mind if I... No? Okay, well, goodbye. Bye, crows. So that... I'm just gonna go this way, outside. They shouldn't... They, uh, in theory, shouldn't be here anymore, and I can see what that was. A dying crow. Not much life left in it. Yoink! I now have one dead bird. Look, I don't know why I need a dead bird. But I probably need a dead bird. Oh wait, I could give it to the cat! I mean, I have this crowbar. I can do something with that, I'm sure. Um, Which room was the cat room? Damn, I, I can't. Wait, was it upstairs or downstairs? I don't remember. No, it was the downstairs room. My mistake. Well, I don't want to... I mean, it'd be a waste, but I, I don't want to go into that room right now, you know? I want to get rid of this dead bird... dying bird. Because having it squawk at me all this time is going to be very, uh, disturbing. I went the wrong way. My mistake! Are you dead yet, Crow? Be because I don't... I, I don't want to hear you squawking. I mean, no offense, but you were dying anyway, so I figured I would just, you know, feed a cat. There we go. Well, cat should be able to get something here. Nah, I shouldn't have figured it would happen right away. I hear something in the distance. It sounds like a lament. Someone here? Hello? Anybody home? I, I did call. Are you behind this boarded up wall? Well, in we go. My God! What has happened here? Excellent question. It's a letter. Dear Margaret, it has been days since Anthony left his office. I can hear him whispering angrily, frightfully, and it gets worse at night. Our service left a few days ago. Without their help and company, I am lost. I can barely walk out of bed. Not even the doctor will come here. After his argument with Anthony, my husband has developed a horrible ability to break anyone's will. I do not know what to do. I do not have strength left. I wish I could send you this letter. Your dear friend, Anna Beechworth. So that's Anna Beechworth, I guess? The lifeless body of a woman. It has been here for a few days. She looks like she's clutching a note in her hand. Ugh. Well. I'm writing what will surely be my final thoughts. My last lines. My last breath. I do not know what kind of dark power has turned my husband into what he is now. A stranger. With a look bereft of all sanity, compassion, and human warmth. 
I do not know what shadow has slowly darkened our lives. I do not know this foreign guest that now dwells in our souls. I do not know where it is from, but I am sure it is not from this world. I will meet my brother and sister soon. I will be free from this abyss of madness and fear. Soon, I will stop trembling. Oh. A simple long hairpin. Okay. I'll take that. Let's, uh, look at these other ones. A letter in feeble handwriting. I cannot go on. All is lost. The writing on the wall reads, Leave me alone. Who would have written such a thing? Writing? Oh, it all says leave me alone. Cool. I mean, not cool, but terrifying. Gross. It's a diary page. I cannot stand their stares. They watch me. They judge me. They despise me. I know they think I'm not worthy of this family. But who are they but dust and bones? A memory. Leave me. I do not need you. Leave me alone. Okay. What's in the creepy room over here? Huh. A woman of strong features and dark hair. She has a bold look in her eyes. She looks like a woman on the... She looks like the woman on the bed. She's holding a baby. Could that be Anthony's child? This old man bears some resemblance to Anthony, but his countenance is mirrored by a severe, unsettling gaze. This young woman, not yet in her 20s, stares defiantly back at me. A man with blonde hair. I feel as if I've seen him before. Portrait of Anthony standing beside a mounted wildcat, uh, or lynx. The painting look the paint looks fresher around the animal's head. Huh. There's a big raven perched outside the window, tapping on the glass with its beak. Okay. Um. All right. We'll see ya. I'm not letting him in. To well, I mean, maybe that would be the best thing to do. I'm getting out of the dead room. It probably smells horrible. Did I ever... I mean, I think I went this way. I don't remember what was in here. Right, there was an empty room. That's all it is. What was this door? Locked from the inside. Oh, maybe I used the hairpin. I cannot force the lock. I cannot force a lock this tough with this. Oh, okay. Well, I tried. Let's, uh... Slowly but surely, move past the, uh, let's get going. What's this room? It's stuck. Could I use the hairpin here? No. Oh, well, worth a shot. Wonder how the cat's doing. I mean, I left the bird there. Which way was it? I don't remember. That's the kitchen. Is that a cat? I think that's the cat. Where did the crow go? Where do you think? There's a trail of blood. You idiot. There's a tiny dark hole in the wall. Okay. Sound is louder down here. Hello? Kitty? I fed you a dying crow. Reveal to me your secrets! Reveal them to me! The cat seems to be behind this wall. Eh. Well, there's nothing I can really do about that. I mean, what am I going to do? Set it on fire? Yeah, I, I don't have... Sorry, kitty, I don't have any way to get you out of there. I guess I'll just be going, let you meow in the walls for a bit. It's not like I have dynamite or a sledgehammer or anything. Where did I even get those? Hmm. 
Wait, was there anything in the basement I could have used to get the cat out? Sound is louder down here. I I'm aware, thank you. Oh, okay. Fire firewood, it's not letting me pick it up. Okay. Well, we're the shot. That seems to be behind it. Is there a way to... Okay, yeah, there's no way to force that open. What could I use this hairpin on? Alright, let's get the hell out of here. I guess um, maybe I'll cut this while I wander around trying to figure out where to use this hairpin. Is there a door I didn't hit? I don't think there were any rooms. It said I couldn't force them open. Crow's gone. Cold wind, suffocating atmosphere. Oh, I already read this. Hmm. What to do? Well, there's nothing I can do in the basement. There has to be a room I missed. That what? I accidentally hit something on uh, OBS. Hopefully that doesn't fuck up the video. Go back upstairs to the creepy, the creepy hallway. Why would they not have anything on the balls, the sconces, or anything? Door is stuck, it won't open. The hairpin's probably not doing anything with that. Maybe I could, like, nah, he probably doesn't want to destroy the art or something. I don't know. That's stupid, but hey, you never know. Um. Can't force that lock. Okay. Double bed, accumulated dust, guess not slept. Small photos in old daguerreotypes. Mostly family portraits. No idea what a daguerreotype is, but sure. Okay, can't do anything with that. Oh! Cannot open the latch. It's stuck. Perhaps I could use... Do so using a small tool. Oh, use hairpin. Using the hairpin, I've managed to spring the latch with ease. Huh. Few handwritten notes. The goddamn cat! He meows every night! It is for me, I know it! He's mocking me! He knows my secret! He knows! I will not let him ruin everything! I do not have the, any choice. I have to put an end to his miserable life. Or better yet, I will blind him! You Gabby, Gabby Lynx! You will not confess! No, not you! Okay. Remains of chemical experiments. A common hammer, in good condition. Yoink! I mean, that's too small for the wall, I think. Some torn out diary pages. They will not bother me anymore. I am done with their censorous gazes, their whispers. It is all ready. There's only one thing left to do. Dark. Some strange books written in a language unknown to me. 
a map of the region of Sussex with markings and drawings on its surface. On top of the ladder, there's a trapdoor with a keyhole, reinforced with gold. Well, I don't have a gold key, so... A lynx, mounted and stuffed. This is fine work for a taxidermy. Well, I got a hammer. I would hate to damage this fine work of taxidermy. Well, I think that's enough for this episode. In the next one, we're going to go down to the basement and I guess try to use this hammer on the basement wall to get the cat out? See you guys then!